Hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting video tutorial for Adobe Premiere Pro and in this tutorial we will be talking about how to animate still images or your photos you know in the last tutorial we learned how to bring uh, still images or photos of different uh, formats into Adobe Premiere Pro on your projects but uh, it's one thing bringing them in here but it's all another affair to you know uh, make them animate and do a lot of good stuff with it you know because uh, especially when you bring high quality or big resolution uh, photos then you have a lot of room you are not limited you can do a lot of cool animations with them and uh, uh, in the last tutorial we learned about scaling uh, your uh, still images to the scale of your uh, your frame or, or actually the sequence frame size and stuff like that in this one you will learn the animation which uh, takes your project to a whole new level if you learn it or applied it quickly uh, uh, not quickly uh, you applied it correctly I meant to say so excuse my slip of tongue actually um, I would be showing you just the basics of it uh, the main thing you have to learn and do on your own okay let's increase the size of this still image and bring it here okay now my space uh, or interface of adobe premiere pro might look a little different because i've increased the source monitor area and reduced the windows uh, monitor or the viewing area a little bit because i want to extend this uh, you know this uh, um, a timeline uh, in the source monitor uh, actually this timeline and the timeline or the tracks or video tracks audio tracks there is a little bit different between them yeah, it shows only the track the one that has been selected in the timeline for example now I've selected the audio uh, Adobe uh, the video uh, audio track actually and now when I select the video track it shows me only the video track in here and it shows the effects that could affect it or the effects that we can apply to the video if we click the audio one then it shows the effects or the videos of only the audio track similarly if i click on the image one as you can see the our play it play it uh, play ad is at the beginning of our image or still image so uh, that's why the play it yeah, play it here is also at the you know beginning of it and now if i bring it to the end of it then our play it is here at the end of the you know uh, still image but if i click this one uh, you know the video clip beneath it our uh, that is beneath our photo then it is not at the end of it it is in the middle or actually at the beginning of the middle some part up uh, away from the beginning of the clip which is here you know this area so you get the point that this area does not show all the tracks video tricks or audio tricks you know it shows the one that has been selected here okay so now let's get started with the animation first let's bring the uh, playhead to the beginning in of the uh, still image and then what we're gonna do is gonna uh, animate two of its position the position and scale of this image actually this is a big image you know and if uh, and it is not being scaled to size I will not scale to frame to size you know if I do that then the image is reduced but I'm gonna undo that again you know actually in here uh, because we want it to be big now we're going to animate these two parameters position and scale to do that you have to click the stopwatch in the beginning of it and then it creates two of the you know um, keyframes here now i'm going to take the uh, our plate a little bit away from that point and now i can click these two diamond icons and create another keyframes but what i'm going to do instead is I'm gonna move this uh, picture of ours and that's going to create a keyframe here at the position place like this let me double click it okay now it has created a keyframe and it is also it is also showing our 
a path of motion that it's gonna move from that place to this place now let's change the uh, scale of the picture also okay we want it to start at uh, this point and then actually first of all i think we should increase its size like this okay now let's take the playhead to the beginning of the uh still image and see how this motion looks like so the actually let me mute the audio of the project and now let's see it as you can see it is zooming in and the position of it is also changed okay i think the position is a bit uh, changing slowly you know so i think i'm gonna move this keyframe a little bit closer to the beginning of the animation when it starts that's how you can increase the speed of the you know uh, your keyframe or the animation or you can also slow it down by uh, putting the two keyframes apart really far in the timeline okay like that okay so far so good and now you are not just only limited to you know uh, this linear motion you can also change its motion to busier or auto busier and also continuous busier and stuff like that let me change it to busier and then we will see what does that do to it okay when you click on the busier icon then what is the option is available is that okay what the hell is going on why is our okay positioning not coming into place okay there it is okay now that's what we are talking about now this uh, icon or this small arrow or arm you can pull or you can uh, push and now the motion of the picture will be like this now let me reduce the size of our you know picture so that it uh, shows up in it okay i have reduced the size a lot so let's start the animation once again okay like so okay now it's go gone back there and then it moves around like this in the view form and then from there it's gonna increase in size again okay that's it so guys uh, this was the basic uh, rundown i know the example was not that great and i did not create that uh, outstanding uh, groundbreaking or revolutionary motion or animation with it but uh, i just wanted to demonstrate the point that how you can animate your still images and the basic concept is the same the one that we used in previous tutorials of keyframing in the um, audio track the same keyframes that are applied in here uh, can be applied or subtracted or deleted the same way and they uh, work uh, in Adobe Premiere Pro just like they work in any other uh, Adobe software to animate stuff so the one uh, motion or scale that I demonstrated the rotation and the other stuff also work the same the other parameters you can you know change them you can change their opacity how much they will show up and how much they will add up you know uh, all these parameters can be animated and controlled it just depends on your liking or your preferences how you want uh, these parameters to change and what you want them to do or how you want them to behave in your project so with that said uh, I hope to see you in the next tutorial and uh, I have to say goodbye to you for now because it's too late in the night and I also have to sleep. Okay, bye for now.